Well, here we are again, talking about programming the Auber WS-1200. If you go to my website at sm uh, smokingtalk.com, S-M-O-K-I-N-T-A-L-K.com, you'll find uh, several things talking about the Auber. Two of them I want you to print out. One of them is programming the Auber WS-1200 GPH. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is what I want you to print out. There's two pages of it. And then I'd like for you to print out, while you're there, print out the one on saving and recalling the Auber programs. We're going to talk about that. Save and recall all the recipes. There's two pages of that. Then when you get that in front of you, come back to this film and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the first part of it, about programming the Auburn. Okay, I hope you got it printed out and uh, get the one in front of you that says programming the Auburn W. SD-1200 GPH. The top part of that page, we're going to ignore it for the time being. Uh, I, I hope you have gone through the auto-tune. The instructions for it are in the, on the website. And uh, you won't need the top part of this page. <clears throat> but to get a good understanding of the programming, uh, it's really so simple that you probably don't even need any instructions, but uh, if you read your user's manual, the instructions in it, but some people say it's a little hard to understand, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit simpler. Uh, let's first talk about cooking, what we're cooking, how we're cooking. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion about how to do, for example, a Boston butt. Uh, I put mine on, I cook it at 225 degrees until it uh, gets the internal temperature of uh, about 200, 198, 200, 205, somewhere in there. Pull it out, put it in, uh, wrap it real good, put it in a uh, uh, styrofoam cooler and let it sit for an hour or so. Then take it out and pull my pork. But everybody don't do it that way. Some people have opinions of uh, holding the temperature around 140 for a period of time to allow it to absorb more smoke. There's a school of thought that says that above 140 meat won't absorb any more smoke. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't really worry about it. Uh, but if you wanted to do that, you can program the auger to come on and cook at 140 for a certain amount of time and then switch over and cook at 225 until you get an internal temperature on your meat. And then uh, let's say you're not going to be around to take the meat out, you could have it go back to 140 which is a safe holding temperature for your meat, and you can have it hold there indefinitely. So, you, whatever you can think of, this auger is going to do it for you. It's just if you understand how to set up the little program. And then the uh, part that a lot of people really like about it is once you set up a program, say for the Boston butt, like we was talking about, you can save it. Uh, we've got eight locations you can save programs to. Uh, we'll go into those a little bit later, but uh, you can have a, a program for your Boston butt, you can have another program for ribs, you can have another program for a smoked turkey, whatever your mind can conceive. I'll do it. So let's talk about the program itself. There's six steps that can be programmed. Personally, I don't use them all. I, I very seldom use any more than one single step. 
and that tells it to come on and cook at 225 until I get to 198 and cut it off. And that's about all I do on the Boston butt. But let's take the other example. Let's say you wanted to cook first at 140 for, we'll say, for two hours. And then uh, you wanted to cook, change over, cook at 225 till you reach an internal temperature of 198. Okay, first step, if you look at my chart on set page two, uh, you'll find a little chart that shows those six steps. The first column is your step number. Here's a, here's a copy of that chart if you can see it. I don't know how well that's going to focus on it, but anyway, that's page two. First column is a step number. Second column is the temperature that you're going to be cooking at. The first column, the step number one, says uh, that's my step one temperature. Well, on this chart, it says 120. Uh, the step number E1. That's telling it how we're, how are we going to end this step. And then the next column says T. That means we're going to end this step one by time. The next column says value 2 out 2.0. So step one says cook at 120 degrees. End that cooking by time. Time equals two hours. So that we cook at two hours, uh, 120 for two hours. Then in step two, C2, change to 190 degrees and exit uh, for that step is Fahrenheit. And the value for it is 160. So that's saying, and for step two, change your cooking temperature to 190 exit that mode by Fahrenheit and the degrees to exit by is 160. Then step three, we say go back to 130 degrees and we're going to end it by time. We'll put a T in that column and we're going to go there for 30 minutes. I don't know why anybody would want to do or uh, have a recipe like that, but that's an example. You can do whatever you want to do. So whether it's good or bad is up to you. But then all the rest of the steps in this example are set to zero, which simply says that we don't do anything. Now this is not really uh, computer programming uh, as such. But it works similar to computer program. It does step one, then it does step two, to step three, step four, and so on and so forth till it ends and then it quits. So with that, you can uh, write down what you want to do and then go into this programming mode and enter it. And it's, it's very easy 